It's called Kajo Kingdom. Yeah. Do we need that? Kajo Kingdom? Yes. What's Kajo Kingdom? Hata sasa zingine ukitembea kwa barabara unaweza shangaa na ushindwe. Kwa ni kadhiri ndereva siku hizi ni hoka. Kwa nini hoka zua wachukuliwa waende kwa marathon? Lakini hokas ubidua waende mbio akifikia ile kitu yenye tampata na hapo nyuma. Mambo bila bila sorry nini? Ila kwa bila bila la hizi. One chapter in the tragic story of the hawkers who are assaulted on a daily basis by city inspectorate Askaris winds up here at the Kiambu Hospital. Because if you don't pay up, you often get stabbed, injured, or worse, you could die. <laughs> Jacqueline Kamami, alias Kamada, Bernard Muli, alias Gadao Dao, also known on the streets as a limping one, Julia Socheng, Alfred Marenya, and their boss, Benson Akasi Ambani, also known as Wasi Wasi, were all secretly recorded on camera by a team of unnamed whistleblowers for over a year, extorting bribes from hawkers with impunity. <laughs> Um, it was very, very evident of uh, the kind of the lot that is in the Nairobi County. It shows how deep-rooted corruption is in Nairobi County. It's, it proves what we have been seeing all along, that Nairobi County is a county, is a den of corruption. Uh, it, it requires a, a serious uprooting of this corruption regime in Nairobi County. The kind of violence that has been released on our hawkers, our small traders, is unacceptable in any country, in any standards. It's unacceptable. For me, it is the worst thing you can do to human beings. They are looking for a way to make a living. They are working hard. All what they want is a government that can facilitate for them to have areas of working, a place where they can make a living. But now, instead of the leaders facilitating for them to work, the leaders are facilitating for them to be murdered, to be killed. But of course, after watching it and uh, uh, listening to the documentary, I, it was, I was very, very sad. I was saddened. That should not be happening in this uh, day and age. I mean, it was sad. I, I, I hope something has been done. Uh, I, I mean, I never saw anybody resigning. I have never seen any action being taken. So it means that, uh, you know, I, I mean, uh, it is business as usual. Somebody should really have taken the bank. Somebody should have been fired. In fact, if you ask me, the governor should have resigned. Every society I've got is share of uh, rotten eggs. And um, with 13,000 employees, you are not going to miss some rotten eggs. And the four people, the four people plus another five who uh, was revealed to us by the Jichupevu, all of them have been fired. Mm. Yes. Siri sa 
50 bob Olivia Pop tukitaka scandal Switch on news Eurobond Atuweze na polisi Kuna pesa agent Kando ya station ninja Atuweze na media Sisa nunuwa nyama lately So sija soma gazeti Atuweze na judiciary Hawataki my two center Yezi to share briefcase Kuna handshake ya ina mbili Ya kukutulia hali Na ya kufutisha mbono refu ya serekali Na nikiende ya kanisa Wanataka mbegu from the fruits of my labor Uwa mtaka mkane Asa mkiku yu Ebu endo hivyo sari Hothe tutu yu Uta ekwa pingo Ubebe chukwa chukwa all what they are asking for is a place to do their business and that's what leaders are there for, to provide a place. How about the people who are caught on camera exporting the law of the who are working with the state? They should be jailed. Also, I should be jailed for life. They should be jailed. What would I do for them? I would fire them. You fire them. What do you do with people who are promoting corruption? What do you do with the people who oppress your own voters? You fire them. Yeah. Do you think that Kidero has done a good job in terms of addressing these concerns? Kidero has done zero job. He has not done anything in terms of any sector. He has not done anything. He has done zero. That's the fact. That's the truth. My first task is to ensure that I sweep clean the Nairobi County and especially the inspectorate department. <laughs> I am going to look at this issue of the inf uh, small traders in a consultative manner. I am going to talk to the leadership of the hawkers. I am going to talk to the, uh, to the informal business community so that we can have harmony. I am going to organize the county of Nairobi. Who are suitable, uh, you know, already in the report, covered in the report, they will need extensive training in the following areas. One, I uh, will ensure that they read chapter one and chapter two of their constitution. And the chapter that deals with human rights, I think it's chapter seven if I'm not wrong. Then, of course, um, the, the, the chapter on integrity, chapter six. These chapters are key to anybody serving in public service and I'll give them an opportunity to study them, understand, appreciate. And if you think you cannot operate within that framework, then you will have no space in my government. You will have to leave immediately. The other area that I'll lay a lot of emphasis on is um, um, customer, um, um, customer care, care. Because the purpose of any institution be it business or otherwise, is to serve the customer. So you have no business operating if you can't serve the, the customer in the way that they intend you to serve them. So I'll again lay a lot of emphasis in retraining those who are trainable. Those who cannot be trained will be shown the door. I would add anybody that uh, if they come across a, council, uh, a county government employee who is uh, not treating them as customers, mm. they need to report them and will take action. But also, we must also realize that there are people out there who pretend to be uh, county government employees and yet they are extortionists. We have out there where you don't want to go extortionist gangs who keep on fighting because they want to be paid fees uh, by by hawkers and by Matatu people. And what I'm telling them, please don't pay. Uh, it might be hard. Extortionists and corrupt officials are cowards. If you stand up to them, they look for easier victims. Mm. But the best thing is report them to us.